travel day. We're gonna head to Copper Harbor today, but we decided to make a stop first. And remember we were telling you about the tractor supply having a pet wash? Well, we're gonna go ahead and stop because we're getting out of town a little bit early. And we don't want, I don't think we could check until like 3 p.m. So we don't wanna be too early in case they say nope. So we're gonna make the best use of our time and go wash the puppies. It's $9.99 a dog, and it doesn't go by weight, so even my little Shih Tzu is $9.99. But no big deal, they have all the soaps. They have warm water, which is really, really nice, and they have a blow dryer and grooming tools. They have towels. This is fabulous. She hit me was she said she was it's for, it was free. It's not free. I thought it was a way to get you in the store. I thought it was a good idea. Right? All right, let's go. Michigan. Oh, wow. Somebody needs to print that. <laughs> That's good, babe. Stan's getting a little delirious. This has been a very long drive day. It's been three hours. <laughs> well, longer than that. I would say three and a half. Oh, God. It's just going to these little, little towns and little roads and going through Frat House Row. That was something. That was something. At Michigan Tech. Yeah, no, I'm teasing because we've only been like one hour, an hour and a half at the most the last like four times we've moved. So this is really great. We're, we're about 24 minutes out. Um, we're gonna get set up. It should be paved, a pull through site, and we just go straight to the site. We don't have to check in or anything. Yeah, I guess Mi Michigan is doing in their state park something new where starting September 11th that you just if you've already 
uh, made your reservations on your line online, you just go straight to your your campsite. So we'll see how that works out. Ours is supposed to be a premium spot, so when we booked it, this was the only spot in this west section that was available. Because we just booked it, what, yesterday? Yesterday or day before? And, um, man, it's full. Good morning. Well, you can't get any more upper peninsula than... Copper Harbor. Copper Harbor, man, we're up at the top. Gosh. We're at the highest point in the state of Michigan. Wow. Now, now I don't mean um, altitude wise. I mean. Northernest, well, I think it called it northernest most point. That's a mouthful. We're the upper, the most upper you can get. <laughs> we're in the upper oopers, oopers. <laughs> Gosh, so we're at the, uh, the fort right now. There's a fort entrance and then there's a park store. We just went in the park store. Yeah. Great little park store. Yeah, I thought it was sufficient. Very nice. Yeah, it's lots of, lots of little souvenirs. You can buy a sub here. Yes. Uh, tip, there is no internet on this peninsula, so you can come to the store here. They have internet, and you can catch up on whatever you need. And there's places in town that has internet, too. But uh, the Wi-Fi, or I actually should say Wi-Fi at the store is free, so you can come here. We had a fabulous dinner last night. And they had Wi-Fi there too. So yeah. with the Harbor House, oh my gosh, I think Stan enjoyed his meal quite a quite a bit. Oh man, there's something about eating a lot of red meat. I was feeling not so good this morning, but boy, I tell you, I'm catching up. It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah, we both had the ribeyes and mm. the potato pancake because it's like a German German house, German food, yeah. and it's right there on the peninsula. And so we saw the um, boat coming in from the. Isle Royale, I think it was. Yeah, National Park. From the National Park, which you can catch that and take it out there uh, for a day trip or to stay overnight. But anyway, the, the gals run out and they do this welcome dance and wave. It was super cute. I caught a little bit of it, but super cute. And what a view. Oh my I gosh. I don't understand why more folks haven't been up here. Or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe everybody comes up here. It's but crowded. I'm, but I know it's crowded. Like I said before, Michigan knows how to camp. I'm telling you. <laughs> They're all here, and it's the shoulder season, and it's crowded, wall-to-wall -wall people. So today we're just exploring and trying to get the lay of the land. Get the lay of the land, get some maps, and so... Yeah, if we did that, we actually got a map at the, um, from the park ranger office there, and... Uh, so we're experiencing beautiful sunshine. It should, tomorrow it should be 67, perfect gorgeous weather. So, hey come up to the upper peninsula up to copper harbor absolutely beautiful we thought we would go up to the tip of the peninsula but the road ends we can still go there um it said log trucks horseshoe harbors that way high rock bay seven and a half miles so it's all dirt road but this is interesting because this is the beginning of us 41 Stan was telling me it goes from the from Copper Harbor all the way down to Florida. Let us know if you guys have been on the 41. I don't think we've ever been on it before. This was our first time. Stan has decided we're going to Horseshoe Harbor. So a couple things we want to look for is, well, agate, right? Is that what you read about? Yeah, Lake, Lake, they call it Lake Superior Agate. I don't know, have you, you folks ever heard of that? I don't know. And then a Uperlite, which is a rock that's supposed to be 
Is it fluorescent under a black light? I think is what I just read. And um, I don't know. I thought we would take a look and see what we could find. Hopefully, we'll find a Uber light and some agate. Oh my gosh, wow. Well, who even knew this was back here? Multi-use trail area, mountain biking. Wow. Guess we're right here at the parking lot. And then we can hike down to the Horseshoe Harbor. sure that's an agate but I don't know I got the rocks that stood out the most these are the two that I got I don't know what they are but they stood out they stood out from the rest of the gang that's for sure we're gonna go see the fort and the fort was built in the 1840s because they were expecting a mining boom in this town and they built it to keep law and order. It says it ain't so much the snow, but the isolation that can be the death of you. These are real. What should we eat on? Look at the size of that bowl. That's pretty. Shirt, boots, socks, shoe polish, lint brush, overcoat, ammunition, underwear, towel, Bible, candle, candle holder, writing paper, envelopes, deck of cards, razor, soap comb. driving through the east campground just give you an idea if you're looking i like our campground better i think you did a better job with ours but they do have laundry facility over here too so that's just a thought it's kind of nice at a state park to have laundry convenient found ourselves on a back road again, a dirt road, and we're looking for the Esteban Pines. So, here we are. Okay, oh. that's a grouse. It's a grouse? A grouse on the ground. So it's Esteban Pines, and it's a tract of over 500 acres protecting an old growth of nor northern hardwood forest with groves of eastern white pines.
we found a sign. Let's see what it says. Should say, oh gosh, we've only hiked that much. <laughs> Shoot. Okay, so we parked here. You know, you are here. Stan's not very happy with me right now. Is he still back there? Like I said, he's not happy with me. His back and his hip hurt from his crash the other day on his bike. And this is aggravating it. So he is aggravated with me. <laughs> well, they didn't tell us how long it is. I just wanted to see the pine trees. It's so beautiful though. And I told him we could turn back. We made it here, so we're gonna go straight back to the parking lot. There we go.